On the day of the highly anticipated Starship launch, SpaceX and Starship fans all around the world experienced a roller coaster of emotions, with excitement turning into disappointment as the ambitious rocket took off from Boca Chica, Texas. While it demonstrated impressive thrust capabilities, ultimately, the rocket had to be destroyed mid-flight due to an uncontrollable tumble, raising questions about what went wrong during this ambitious test. As the countdown approached zero, at least three of the booster's 33 Raptor 2 engines failed to ignite. The Raptor engines may have failed due to debris during ignition, which could be fixed relatively easily. Despite this setback, the remaining 30 engines still managed to produce a staggering 15 million pounds of force, dwarfing the 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust generated by NASA's Space Launch System, or SLS, during its blastoff in November 2022. With such force came the potential for collateral damage, and the launch site and surrounding areas did not escape unscathed. A massive crater formed beneath the orbital launch mount, hinting at the destructive power unleashed during liftoff. Ground crews were then tasked with assessing the area for potential damage to the launch and catch tower, as well as nearby infrastructure like the tank farm. Footage captured by Lab Padre's VR camera showed the aftermath of the launch near the 469-foot-tall launch and catch tower. A minivan in the vicinity was hit by a large rock, further emphasizing the importance of evacuating the area before such a high-powered launch. It's crucial for SpaceX to learn from these incidents and take necessary measures to minimize potential harm in future launches. Unfortunately, at the 359 mark of the mission, SpaceX had to destroy Starship due to the rocket entering into an uncontrollable tumble. The company stated that their minimum expectation for the launch was to see the rocket take flight, and avoid excessive damage to the launch site. While the Starship did manage to take flight, the damage to the site was significant. This incident brings back memories of previous failed tests of SpaceX rockets. Musk had estimated a 50% chance of success for the Starship launch. In fact, SpaceX's history is peppered with setbacks and failures, which have been instrumental in shaping their development process. In the world of rocket development, achieving a flawless launch record is extremely rare if not impossible. On April 17th, another incident served as a reminder that unforeseen issues can still arise despite meticulous planning and preparation. A frozen pressurant valve prevented the launch from proceeding, highlighting the complexity of the technology used in Starship, which relies on a mixture of methane and liquid oxygen for propulsion. Overall, the test provided valuable data for future improvements. The rocket structure demonstrated impressive strength despite challenging conditions. The launch pad and tower likely sustained damage too, but SpaceX is expected to recover quickly. In the past, we have seen SpaceX experiencing multiple failures before successful launches like Falcon 1. It's important to remember that explosions are always expected in rocket tests. SpaceX's tweets after the test launch highlight the company's willingness to continue making improvements to their Starship project. The first tweet demonstrates that SpaceX views the April 20th test as an opportunity to gather valuable information, which will ultimately contribute to the rocket's reliability. Elon Musk's tweet also conveys a similar message. He congratulates the SpaceX team for the exciting test launch, acknowledging the hard work put into the project. By mentioning that they've learned a lot for the next test launch in a few months, he illustrates company's adaptability. The good news is another launch is planned to happen soon. Musk announced that the team would likely attempt to reach space again in a few months. Possible damages to the orbital launch mount and tower may require a few months for repair, but SpaceX is known for its ability to adapt and learn from past incidents. During this time, they will also investigate the root cause of the failure, such as the possibility that the Raptor engines may have failed due to debris during ignition. Any identified issues will be addressed to ensure that future launches are conducted with improved safety and reliability. The next Starship prototype will be more advanced, and the company will use data from the recent test to improve it.
This upcoming test is crucial not only for the progress of the Starship program, but also for NASA's plans to send humans back to the moon. The mission is ambitious. Starship's colossal booster must separate about three minutes after liftoff, drop into the Gulf of Mexico, then fly around Earth at an altitude of over 150 miles, before ultimately splashing down off the Hawaiian coast. It is critical for both the Super Heavy Booster and the Stainless Steel Starship spacecraft to make a soft landing as they will be reused. What makes Musk's Starship rocket unique is that it is the first rocket that is fully reusable, making it cheaper than the other rockets. It is absolutely necessary for space launches to be as cheap as possible since it is a very costly affair. In a conversation with the head of TED Conference's Chris Anderson, Musk was asked about the price of traveling to Mars, which he responded saying, If moving to Mars costs for argument's sake $100,000, then I think almost anyone can work and save up and eventually have $100,000 and be able to go to Mars if they want. Japanese billionaire Yusaku Maezawa has already bought some seats in Musk's Starship that will be flying to the moon. Mr. Yusaku will be traveling on the first crewed mission to the moon with eight artists as part of his Dear Moon program, but before the Starship travels to Mars, it will have to take humans to the moon. NASA has chosen Starship for its Artemis moon program, and SpaceX has sold two private around-the-moon missions. The success of the SpaceX Starship launch will also be a big win for the Starlink project. Under Starlink, Musk's SpaceX seeks to send more than 42,000 satellites to the Earth's orbit, which will make it possible to supply even the remotest parts on Earth with the Starlink satellite internet. After all, the, the 20th of April launch was a clear message that Musk's big dreams for the Starship were not just empty promises. What excites you most about the SpaceX Starship launch? Do you think this could be the beginning of big things for the future? Feel free to share your views in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and make sure to hit the like button.